Hi Varun, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm also good. So, how was your day? It was nice. School went off well today. Yes. That's nice. Okay. So, basically, today we are going to be learning about the posture, the posture on the piano, right? How to sit at the piano? So, I have this page displayed in front of me. I, is it visible to you? Yes, it is visible. Oh, excellent. Okay, so can you just try reading it for me once? Yes. Sit tall. Heel slightly forward. Arms hang loosely from shoulders. Elbows a little higher than keys. Bench facing piano squarely. Knees slightly under a keyboard. Feet flat on floor if possible. Right foot may be slightly forward. You may place a book or stool under your feet if they do not touch the floor. Reach the floor. Okay, sit high enough. Sit high enough. If you do not have a piano stool that moves up and down, you may need a... You need to use, use a book or a cushion to have the... To have a, a correct posture. position. Position. Yeah, correct. But basically, we usually keep a cushion or something to increase our height. Okay, now tell me one thing. Sit tall. What do you understand by sit tall? Just sit straight. Yeah, so you can't be actually tall enough. You sit straight, back straight, shoulders relaxed, shoulders straight. Okay, lean slightly forward. How would you explain that? You should not bend at the, at the keyboard. No, lean slightly forward would be? It's not exactly going in or absolutely going out or sitting straight like a robot. Body is relaxed. Lean slightly forward. You see in this uh, image how it is shown there? How that boy is sitting there? Yes. Yeah. So, see. He is sitting here. How slightly forward? You see that? Little bit. Yes. Now, arms hang loosely from shoulders hang your arms down hang your arms down hands down 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 straight straight down put your hands down and yeah correct loose and wiggle your arms wiggle your wrists come on straight down put them down put them down and shake your hands yeah so you, it should be loose loose enough shoulders should not be very stiff like this tight or this way, loose, correct, loose enough so that you are able to move, okay, now elbows, your elbows a little higher than the keys, our elbows usually make a kind of an L, okay, now you see this boy sitting there, look at his, look at his elbow position, yes, see this. Now, if my hands can't go straight like this, I shouldn't be playing the piano like this. Or it shouldn't go down also. Correct? Yes. So, the right position is elbows a little higher than keys. Little higher, not too high. Bench facing piano squarely. What do you mean by bench facing piano squarely? Bench means your stool or the chair that you're sitting on. Preferably, definitely not a, a chair with a backrest. But that's absolutely okay. Uh, facing squarely. You sit straight looking at the piano. You shouldn't be keeping your chair like this and playing this way. Or your chair the other way turned around and you playing like this. Got it? So, so that you face it straight. Now, knees slightly under the keyboard. Do not push yourself absolutely close to the piano or very far away from the piano then if you put place your knees slightly under the keyboard you will, your arms will get a comfortable movement right yes clear so far yes okay now your feet your feet is supposed to be Flat, flat on the floor. The, yeah, yes. see the feet here. 
is supposed to be flat on the floor. Right foot is usually a little in the front of the leg, little forward. Fine, clear so far? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Now, what about our fingers? Yeah, this was the body posture. How to sit at the piano. But now let's talk about our fingers on the piano. Do we play? Do we play the piano with straight fingers like this? Do we have curved fingers? Or is it yeah, like this? Is it like this? Curved. Like Spider Man? No, we have curved fingers. Yes, we curve our fingers. Now, do you know the reason you can do it why? On the bubble exactly, correct. Now, do you know the reason why we curve our fingers? Because we are playing our wrist, it will be having problem with our wrist. Now, see, if suppose I tell you, put your, place your hand on the keyboard. Now, keep your fingers straight, like this. Yes. Nee, do it like this, it's fine. Just touch it. No, straight fingers, straight fingers on the keys. Now, does all your fingers touch the, are you able to touch the uh, notes with all your fingers? No, not all. The yeah, the no. thumb is up, the pinky is up, they are not touching. Isn't it? They are not touching. But, because it's, it's a reason that straight fingers have different length. You see that? Yes. But if I, the same thing, I curve my fingers. Now what has happened? It has happened that all fingers are able to touch the keyboard. Correct. So, curved fingers have the same length. Straight fingers have different lengths. All the fingers yes. do not touch the keyboard. Curved fingers have the same length. So, they can touch all the keys. Okay. Now, of course, I, I have curved my fingers, but I don't keep them so tight or I don't keep them so loose that my fingers, like, you know, are not able to play steadily. Yeah. You have uh, to keep... You have to just hold, hold it very uh, gently so it, it doesn't... Yeah, you imagine that you're holding a bubble in your hand and you hold so the bubble the... very gently so that it doesn't break. Yes. So, can you show me your hand position? Very good. Excellent, Varun. So now, your body posture and your hand position. Can you just explain me back the whole thing once again? What you have understood from this? Yeah, the body posture. We have to lean slightly forward. Mm -hmm. Arms hang loosely from shoulders. Elbows a little higher than keys. Very Bench good. Bench facing piano squarely. He is slightly under keyboard. Feet flat on the floor. If possible, Positive. right foot may be slightly forward. Correct. You may place a book or stool under your feet if they do not reach the floor. Very good. And what about the fingers? Yeah. The fingers should be curved. Uh, so fingers and why do we need to why do we need to curve our fingers? Because if you put them straight on the piano, our, our, our fingers do not reach the piano. They are different lengths. Yes. Okay. So, why do we curve them? Because if we curve the, our hand, the fingers, all yes, curve our fingers, fingers, all fingers reach the piano. Correct. So, the fingers become of the same length. And we keep our curved fingers very light, as if you're holding a bubble in your hand. Okay? So clear so far, right Varun? Yes. Great. Excellent. 